بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I welcome you to our fourth session of Understand Quran Level 1 in which we will study Surah Quraysh Let me start with hadith Abu Bakr Al-Thaqafi radiyallahu anhu reported the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when two Muslims are engaged in a combat against each other with their swords and one is killed then both are doomed to hell both will go to hell I said O Messenger of Allah as to the one who kills it is understandable that means he will go to hell because he killed another one but why the slain one why the one who is killed why should he go to hellfire the Prophet ﷺ replied, he was eager to kill his opponent. Because his niyyah, his intention also was to kill him. Because of that intention, even though he was killed, he will also go to hellfire. So that's the importance of intention and the seriousness of intention. Now we go to spoken Arabic. Last class, we said whenever we start, we should say, Bismillah. Bismillah means in the name of Allah. And whenever you see something good, you should say, MashaAllah la quwwata illa billah. In our culture, we stop at MashaAllah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. But we should say full. MashaAllah la quwwata illa billah. Ma, ma means whatever or what. Sha'a willed. Sha'Allah, Allah willed. Whatever Allah willed. لا قوة no power إلا except بالله with Allah there is no power except with Allah now we we will learn some more when we have no time in the times of trouble or other times we should say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله you know I don't know why in our culture we made this as something to Rebuke someone. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. This is not the way to pronounce this. This is nothing to, you know, scold someone to use it for scolding someone. You know, this is because we don't know the meanings. لا حول there is no strength. لا حول there is no strength. ولا قوة and no power إلا بالله except with Allah. So is this something that you can say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله? should say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله and a beautiful interpretation one of the interpretation of this is there is no strength in me to avoid sins and no power in me to do good deeds except with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I cannot avoid sins neither I can do good without the help of Allah لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله there is no strength ولا قوة إلا بالله and no power illa except billah with Allah and when you say goodbye or so you should say salam you know just fi amanillah is not enough okay if you want to add to salam that's fine but when two muslims separate islamically we should say assalamu alaikum when you meet you should say assalamu alaikum when you depart also you should say assalamu alaikum but if you want to say something else extra you can say fi amanillah in the protection of Allah fi means in, fi means in, fi amanillah, in the protection of Allah, aman is protection. And if someone is taking oath, and we should not take too much, take oath too much, that's also not encouraged, but if one has to take, he should say, wallah, by Allah, okay, and wallahi al-azim, by Allah the great, azim means great, magnificent, supreme or great. Wallahi al-Azim by Allah the Great. So, fi aman illa means in the protection of Allah. Aman is protection, and Wallah means by Allah. Wallahi al-Azim by Allah the Great, and la hawla means there is no strength. Strength. There is no strength. Power. Quwa is power. Hawla is strength. Okay. Now let's come to grammar. In the last class, we have we learned Rabbuhu, but let let us put everything in context that we have learned so far, starting with Hua, Hua, Hum, 
أنت أنتم أنا نحن هو هم أنت أنتم أنا نحن Can you translate هو هي هم they أنت you أنتم أنا I نحن we Okay And also we, we said هو مسلم هو مسلم means he is a Muslim هم مسلمون The plural of Muslim is مسلمون or مسلمين أنت مسلم You are Muslim أنتم مسلمون أنا مسلم نحن مسلمون Okay can you practice this with مؤمن هو مؤمن هم مؤمنون أنت مؤمن أنتم أنا نحن مؤمنون هو هم مؤمنون أنت أنا مؤمن نحن مؤمنون هو Okay, last time we also learned Rabbuhu. Rabbuhu is His Lord. Rabbuhum, Rabbuka, Rabbukum, Rabbi, Rabbuna, our Lord. And uh, all these prefixes or suffixes, Hu, Hum, Ka, Kum, Ina, are used for expressing His, Their, Your, Your, uh, My, and Our. Last time we say Rabbuhu. Let us practice it two more times. Rabbuhu. Rabbuhu. Rabbuhum. Rabbuka. Rabbukum. Rabbi. Rabbuna. Rabbuhu. Rabbuhum. Rabbuka. Rabbukum. Rabbi. Rabbuna. Rabbuhu. Rabbuhum. Rabbuka. Rabbukum. Rabbi. Rabbuna. Okay. Now we have two more words for today. Deen. Deen means religion or way of life. Let's practice with his religion. What will you say? His religion. Deenuhu. Their religion. Your religion. Your religion. My religion. My our religion. Deenuhu. Okay. Let's practice. Deenuhu. Deenuhum. Deenuka. Deenukum. Deeni. Deenuna. Deenuhu. Deenuhum. Deenuka. Deenukum. Deeni. Deenuna. Deenuhu. Deenuhum. Deenuka. Deenukum. Dini Dinuna. You know what's the meaning of Kitab? Kitab is book. So his book is Kitabuhu. Their book? Your book? Your book? My book? Our book? Let's practice three times. Kitabuhu, Kitabuhum. Kitabuka, Kitabukum. Kitabi. Kitabuhu, Kitabuhum. Kitabuka, Kitabukum. Kitabi, Kitabuna. Kitabuka, kitabukum. Kitabi, kitabuna. Good. Now we come to the next part, which is uh, the revision of last class. In the last class, we learned Surah Al Fil. I will recite and you will translate it, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ألم ترى كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم have not ترى you seen haven't you seen tara kayfa how fa'ala dealt with dealt or did rabbuka your lord bi ashab with the companions al fil of the elephant haven't you seen how your lord dealt with the companions of the elephant أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلِ أَلَمْ Haven't or didn't يَجْعَلْ He make يَجْعَلْ he Didn't he make Okay didn't he make يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ Their plot You see يَجْعَلْ and جَعَلَ Both are coming فَجَعَلَ هُمْ جَعَلَ he made فَجَعَلَ then he made يَجْعَلْ he makes أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ Did not he make ألم يجعل didn't he make كيدهم their plot في إن في تضليل go astray didn't he make their plot go astray وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل by the way تضليل is also related with ضالين ضلة is the root ضاد لام لام وأرسل and he sent from رسول رسالة Okay, وَأَرْسَلَ and he sent عَلَيْهِمْ on them طَيْرًا birds 
Hababil in flocks, and he sent upon them birds in flocks. Tarmihim bihijaratim min sijil. Tarmi striking him, them striking them. Bihijara with stones. Min sijil of baked clay. Min is off or from, depending on, as I said, preposition uh, is taken according to the language. Min sijil of baked clay, striking them with stones of baked clay. فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ مَأْكُولٍ فَ then or thus فَ is thus or then or so جَعَلَ he made this is past tense okay جَعَلَ he made يَجْعَلْ is he makes okay فَجَعَلَهُمْ thus he made them كَعَصْفٍ كَ is like عَصْف Straw ma'akul, that which is eaten, eaten up. Thus he made them like straw eaten up. Of course, straw is eaten by cattle, that's why the translators have put like eaten up by cattle. Humans don't eat straw. Okay. Now we come to Surah Quraysh. Let me uh, give a brief introduction. The tribe of Quraysh used to take care of Kaaba, they were mutawalli of that Kaaba, Masjid al-Haram. Therefore, in the whole Arabian Peninsula, everyone respected them. Using this respect, using this opportunity, what the tribe of Quraysh did is started doing trade and running caravans from Yemen to Palestine or Syria. You know, when it is hot, in the hot season, what is cold, north or south? North is cool, so they will travel to Syria in hot seasons, in summer. And during cold, they will travel to south, in south direction, and that is to Yemen. And because they were mutawalli or caretakers of Kaaba, nobody used to touch them, harm them. Otherwise, everyone was not safe in that times. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding them that you see you are prospering, you have become familiar with these you know, journeys of your trade because of Kaaba, because of my house. So you should worship me alone. That's the message here. Let me read the translation. For the safety of the Quraysh, their safety in the journeys of winter and summer. So let them worship the Lord of this house who has fed them against hunger and gave them security from fear. So this safety is coming to them from what? Because they were caretakers of Kaaba, nothing else. And the lessons we have in, uh, in this for us is uh, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing a group, telling them that look, I have given you safety and security. And as a result, you were able to do this business. So in a, as a result, I am providing you food. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is providing us food also. Are we not eating, alhamdulillah, three times a day? Are we not safe? Are we not having peace? Are we not having peaceful travels, wonderful travels? Even more peaceful and comfortable than those people. So we should be thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all these bounties that He has given us also. Okay, the Quraysh were given those ben those bounties. We are also given the bounties, so we should worship, worship. And all these bounties are coming from Allah only. Whatever be the means, in those times for them, it, the Kaaba or the, the the caretaking of Kaaba was a mean. But for us, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is giving us through some other means. But the ultimately, it is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala only. So let us practice this surah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Li fi Quraysh. Li'ilaf, li means for. Lillahi, for Allah. Okay? Li'ilaf, for the safety Quraysh of the Quraysh. For the safety of Quraysh. Yeah. Li'ilaf, you Quraysh. Li, for. Laf, safety. Quraysh. Quraysh. For the safety of Quraysh. 
إِلَافِهِمْ رِحْلَةَ الشِّتَاءِ وَالصَّيْفِ إِلَافِهِمْ Their safety In what? Rihla Journey You know In Arab world when you travel on the backs You will see Rihla Sa'idah Happy journey Okay Rihla means journey Travel backs they write Rihla Sa'idah Rihla Ta Shita Shita is winter You know Shita just a false link To remember is In Shita you have to do Because of cold So Shita is winter Was Saif and Saif is summer and also in academic year for schools winter comes first at least in southern peninsula uh, and uh, and then summer so first is winter and then summer their safety in the journeys of winter and summer <laughs> The journeys, Shitai of winter, was safe and summer. They saved the journeys of winter and summer. Faliyabudu Rabba Hadal Bait. Faliyabudu. Just remember this construction. Fa is, you know, fa means thus or so. Il, actually, it is li. And when this comes before a verb, it means they should. Should. Fal, so they should. They should what? Fal yabudu, so they should worship. Or let them worship. Let them worship means they should worship. What it means here is they should worship. So let them worship. Rabba, the Lord, hada, this. Al bayt, house. You know Baytullah, house of Allah. That's our reference. Fal yabudu Rabba hada al bayt, so let them worship the Lord of this house. فَلْيَعْبُدُوا الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعُ الَّذِي The one who What is the plural of الَّذِي Alladheena, those who. Alladhi is singular. Alladhi, the one who. Ata'ama hum. Ta'am, you know ta'am is food. Okay. To eat a food. Ta'am. Ata'ama, he fed. Hum, them. Ata'ama, Allah fed them. Alladhi, ata'ama, the one who fed them. Ata'ama hum. Min ju' against hunger. Okay, min is from, but in English we have to say against hunger. Okay, the one who has fed them against hunger. Who has fed them against hunger? Who has fed them against hunger? And amana gave security. Amana is gave security. Amina to be safe. Amana to give security. Gave security. Whom? Them. Whom is them? Amana whom? And gave them. Whom? If it comes alone, it means they. Who are whom? But if it comes at the end of verb, then them. And gave them security. Min from khauf fear. And gave them security from fear. And gave them security from fear. With this, we stop this session. And please remember that we have seven homeworks again to recite Quran at least for five minutes uh, from Mushaf without translation and to recite Quran at least for five minutes when you're walking or doing anything which is non-mental, not mental. That is, if you're not reading, if you're not talking, if you're not thinking, if you're doing something, you know, routine, then try to recite Quran. 
and study for five minutes whatever you're doing and talk to your friend for at least a minute on this topic and refer to vocabulary sheet and I brought uh, it is there also a vocabulary sheet that you refer to off and on at different times in a day especially if you do it after Salah before Salah it is good and try to spread this surah for example today we learned these two surah Quraysh and Feel so try to recite this surah in your prayers so that you practice it try to understand them as you are reciting and lastly if you have the cassette of translation word for word translation try to listen to it uh, that way it will be very easy very simple it will become absolutely easy to practice and especially also practice this rabbuhu rabbuhum rabbuka rabbukum rabbi rabbuna at least a couple of times during the day may allah give us tawfiq and also the overriding concern feeling i am repeating it again and again because our objective is not just to learn arabic words only alhamdulillah we are learning but their means our objective is to do tadabbur in al quran and simultaneously tadakkur which is to take admonition and practice may allah give us tawfiq subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik